Well, now let's get an update on that rainfall. Here's meteorologist Alex Puckett with the latest. Alex. Yeah, and Eric, we're dealing with widespread rain this morning across the area. For most of us, it is a chilly and damp start to our Tuesday morning. No doubt about that. Now, we're going to take a closer look at some of this stuff in the far northern parts of our area, Oxford, and then even northwest of us, places like Sardis. Uh, starting to see some of that rain. This is fairly light, but you see some pinks there on the radar. We are probably picking up on what is a little bit of sleet. So we're going to show you something. You'll see us use this in severe weather coverage sometimes uh, to look for tornado debris. and also help us differentiate between things like rain and sleet and snow. This is correlation coefficient. With high values here, these pinks, that's rain. But where you start to see some of these yellows popping up, that is some sleet that's falling. Now, I'm going to point out the radar is looking pretty high up in the atmosphere here, but I do think we're probably getting some sleet pellets making it down to the surface into eastern Lafayette County right now, and some of that may make it into Union County here in the next few minutes. Having said that, there aren't going to be any wintry weather impacts, just wet roadways this morning. Temperatures are above freezing area-wide. That includes Oxford. We're sitting at 34, so this stuff's going to melt on contact with the ground. Probably ground temperatures well into the 40s, if not into the 50s in some spots. And elsewhere, we're way above a temperature that would support any sort of wintry weather temperatures in the mid to upper 30s to kick things off. We'll see those temperatures climbing into the 40s as we head into the afternoon. So we stay chilly and rainy today. Rain will be heavy at times. This is mid-morning showing the heaviest rain pushing through the Golden Triangle region. That heaviest rain sort of lifts north as we end the afternoon towards the Tupelo region, ultimately moves back up towards Memphis, but we'll see more showers roll through as we head into the evening and overnight hours. More thunderstorms roll through tomorrow. These will be storms and potential for some heavier rain in some of these as we head through the day tomorrow. By late afternoon and evening, we start to dry out across the area. There could be a strong storm tomorrow. Generally, best chance for that will be down to our south. That's where the Storm Prediction Center has placed a marginal risk, but I'm not going to rule out an isolated strong storm in our area either. We'll have to keep an eye on it. Better chance for some strong to severe storms as we head into Saturday. Eric.